So far, we were defining our tasks in package.json scripts. Well, they're not really tasks, but the scripts, but we can call them tasks. I would like to bring a proper task runner. The one I'm talking about is Gulp. Gulp is great at doing one thing, and that thing is running tasks. And it's really amazing. We can automate pretty much anything in our build. Uh, we can define a proper pipeline. I believe we would be able to do the same thing with NPM scripts, but Gulp will give us so much more flexibility. As a first thing, let's remove unnecessary dependencies. So we're going to remove a couple of things. We don't need NPM run all anymore. We're not going to need RimRuff. We don't care about system.js. And we don't care about promise polyfill. After that, let's start the terminal and install dependencies. Let's install Gulp. So we're going to run npmi dash dash save dev Gulp. I'm not the big fan of installing dependencies globally. And the reason for that is I like to have them locked in my package.json. So if anyone else is using the same project, they're going to be on the same version. Next, we're going to need a configuration file for Gulp and we can create one. Gulp file.js. So we're going to say const gulp equal require gulp. Now, what I like to do, I like to destructure my gulp object. So when I call the functions, I don't have to do gulp dot task dot gulp dot src and so on. So what I usually do is this. And we can say equals gulp. Now, in order to run a task, we have to define a task and we can do it. Function, we pass the name and we need our callback function. So let's do this and let's do something like console.log. Hello, gulp. Now, gulp expects to have a stream return in the task, but in all honesty, we can run whatever we want in our tasks. So in order to bypass this, we're going to mark this async and go should be happy with that. So if we run in our terminal npx gulp test, we should see our tasks executing. So first of all, let's move our browser sync from package.json into our gulp. So we can see we are executing browser sync from command line. So we're going to remove this task and I will also remove configuration file. We don't need that anymore. Like so. Next, let's go to our Gulp file and we're going to define a browser sync task. So let's remove this. Before we do that, we're going to have to require browser sync. So we can do const browser sync equals require browser sync. Like so, we already got this package installed, so we don't have to worry about that. And next, we're going to have to create a server. So we can say const server equals browser sync create. This will create our server. Now we can take care of the task. So I'm going to create a task. And the name of the task is going to be dev colon serve. We need our callback function, like so. What we're going to do here, uh, we're going to say server.init. And this accepts an object of configuration. And we need a couple of things here. We need files like before. So basically, we are telling browser sync which files to watch. And we're going to keep as it was public and all the files in the public directory. Next, we had our watch events defined. So we have to define them here watch events and this accepts an array add change and add there next we need to start the server and we're going to start serving from the public directory as the last thing we need a port so we had port set to 5000 so we're going to do exactly the same here. Now, if we are going to test this, we're going to run npx gulp dev serve. And we've got an error that task is not defined. And because I've got a typo, so let's run this again. 
and hopefully we'll see browser sync starting and it looks like it's working i'm just going to bring the browser over here here we go let's bring our rollup over there are plugins for rollup to work with gulp but i don't like any of those i like my rollup config and i'm quite happy dealing with the rollup from the level of rollup config now if we pull some sort of gulp plugin to run rollup task we're gonna have to deal with some sort of layer of abstraction somebody put into the plugin and i really really don't like that so instead i'm going to execute the task but i'm gonna execute it from the shell and there is a really nice plugin uh, for gulp called gulp shell so i'm gonna install that npmi dash dash save dev gulp shell we need to include our plugin so i'm gonna say const shell equals require gulp shell now we should be able to execute any command line command from gulp so if i define a new task called task and i'm gonna call this ts compile let's do this and then what we can do we can execute our shell command so i'm gonna say shell task and we can pass command to execute from the level of command line we're going to copy the task for compilation for our rollup like so and just bring it over to our gulp file now if i try to run this npx gulp and then name of the task so in this instance it's going to be ts compile should see rollup being executed next let's bring our watch task I'm going to define a new task and I'm going to call this task TS watch and we're going to execute another command from the level of shell using task and what we can do again we're going to bring our script from package.json and in this instance it's going to be watch so we start in roll up in watch mode so let's put that in here and let's try this out so npx gulp ts watch and now what we should see we should see the roll up uh, started in the watch mode last two tasks to define is our build task and our dev task gulp gives us ability to run tasks either in series or in parallel when we run them in series, we run them synchronously, one task after another. So we've got series and we also have parallel. And how we can define those tasks is by saying task and we're going to say build. And we can pass series here. And this should accept array of tasks. At the moment, we're just going to have one, but we will add to it as we go. So we're going to say ts compile now for the dev task we're gonna have a few more commands we're gonna actually have two commands to execute so what we can do task we're gonna say dev and we're gonna want to execute those tasks in parallel so we're gonna do this and in our array we're gonna pass the name of the tasks and we want to serve our browser sync and we also want to start our watcher so we're gonna do this so now whenever we execute dev task we should have both server started and our rollup watcher started at the same time so let's try this npx gulp dev and we can see it seems to be working Let's just do a very quick test console and let's go and edit our app file so let's say we want another console.log like so save that and we see that the console is coming browser is reloaded everything it seems to be working 
just fine. So we have our tasks uh, working, what we can do on the very end, we can just go and clean up our uh, package.json. So I'm going to remove all the scripts and the only one I'm going to leave is test like so. If this video helped you in any way, please remember to smash that like button or even subscribe. As always, I will include link to the GitHub repository in the description. Thank you for watching.